guys. Uh, this is a video on my uh, inverter. It's a, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a uh, inverter generator. And uh, let me show you the uh, side of the box here, just so you can get some spec information if you guys are interested. All right, there's the uh, side of the box there, um, and it's a, uh, it's a 2,000 watt uh, Sine Power Pro inverter generator. And uh, it's 1,600 watts uh, running and 2,000 watts uh, peak. It, ha it actually has the Yamaha um, right here, uh, the Yamaha MZ80 engine, which is the same exact uh, motor that's, that comes in the, uh, the Yamaha 2,000 watt um, inverter. Um, it does uh, have all the same features, I believe. It weighs 47 pounds. Uh, it's it is super quiet guys uh, 51 decibels is what it says um, I don't know um, if it's quieter or louder than that but I could tell you it is super super quiet um, it's basically um, it's a smarter tools generator but basically they got with Yamaha and uh, and used their their engine and so you know it's reliable um, it does come with a three-year warranty uh, through the manufacturer um, and uh, let me show you over here basically here's the here's the inverter this here is the on off uh, 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 petcock for the fuel this is the starter cable here here's where you could see it's 2,000 watts 1600, watt, 1600 watts running Yamaha motor smarter tools sign power pro and over here I'll show you all around it. There's uh, there's quite a few features here. Um, here's just the uh, the gas fill, and right here, I don't know if you could see that, but there's actually a a fuel gauge over here on this side. It, there's uh, this is where you fill the oil. The exhaust is back here. And I've only used this uh, for a little bit. I uh, haven't had any problems whatsoever. I've um, only used it a few times, but uh, here you go. I'll show you all these features here. Okay. Right here you have the choke, on or off. This is a 12 volt. Um, port basically it actually comes with that plug um, and it's for charging batteries it's a battery charger 12 volt 8 amp uh, DC battery charger this here is the breaker on off switch for uh, the smart throttle it actually uh, will use less gas if you put that on and it will throttle down and it will power it'll power most uh, small items um, some accessories uh, small appliances and stuff like that when you're running bigger stuff, um, like for instance, a uh, AC unit or microwave or something like that, you're going to want to have it off. Um, it does have a parallel output, so you can hook up two of these and get 2,000 watts. Um, and uh, I don't remember if it came with this cable or not. I know it did come with the charger cable uh, for the for the 12 volt. Um, uh, I'll have to look that up. Um, it, it has an output indicator. Basically, this is on. When it just shows that it's operating normal and it's it, it has uh, it has power, um, overload alarm and low oil alarm. It actually has a low oil shut off as well, um, so it'll actually shut off instead of damaging the unit. This is uh, this is just the on off switch. It's just when you basically you turn it on when you pull the cord and start it, and just shut it down. You just shut it down like that. Usually, uh, what most people do is they'll actually um, leave this on, but over here turn off turn off the fuel valve and just run the carburetor dry that way that way uh, they're not leaving any gas in the uh, carburetor to gum up um, and uh, you won't really have that problem if you put like stable in it or whatever or if you use it quite often uh, but if it's gonna sit for time you want to put you know some stable additive into into the gas 
Um, otherwise, you can just shut it off like that. Um, has two receptacles for your standard, you know, 110, 120 volt uh, appliances. It does have the uh, 20 amp slot right here. So basically, you can use the regular uh, 15 amp or 20 amp plugs in these. It also has a 5 volt USB charge port. Um, so you could actually use that for, you know, charging like cell phones and stuff like that. Um, most of those run off of 5 volts. Uh, that is pretty much it for the front there. I am going to show you guys, uh, you know, it running. And I'll also show, um, I'll show it running. I'll also show, uh, you know, uh, a couple things running off it. You know, if it, if it, if it speeds up and RPM or anything like that to run, for instance, the microwave or the uh, air conditioning unit. Um, and I will do that right now. All right, guys, here it is. Let's go ahead and start it. Let's put the switch on. And give it a pull. Now that is with the smart throttle off. So that is almost pretty much the loudest it's going to run unless you put a load on it. And then it will it'll idle or it'll run a little bit faster than that. And uh, this is. Uh, I also have a year old gasoline in it, so it's running a little bit rough. Um, it actually runs a lot smoother than this, but uh, uh, let me turn on the smart throttle so you can see uh, see the uh, idle on the smart throttle. And that is uh, it on smart th uh, throttle. So uh, on this mode, you could pretty much run uh, smaller items and stuff like that. And uh, I will uh, pick up the camera and I'll take you back a ways so you can kind of hear how quiet it is. This right here, I'd say is about 12 feet from the unit, maybe. It's just super quiet. All right, and uh, I will. Uh, I'm gonna turn it back up to uh, 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 turn the smart throttle off, and uh, we'll go inside the van and uh, use the air conditioner and the uh, microwave to see if it idles up, see if it gets any louder. All right, Be, give me one second. Let's go inside. All right, so I open up the windows so we can hear the generator um, when I turn uh, when I turn on the. Uh, air conditioner in the microwave. So let's see. Here's the uh, microwave. And let's see if we can, let's see if we can hear the uh, inverter crank up a little bit. Okay. And the, uh, the generator did did crank up a little bit, not much. Let's see if you could hear it. There it is. There. I am uh, probably about four feet from it, so it did crank up just a little bit. The microwave's still on, and I just run it for a minute. Still running, uh, the, the generator is running just fine out there. Running as smooth as it can for one year old gasoline. And there it goes. Turned off. 
and the generator the generator kicked down just a little bit it didn't it didn't really crank up too much let's see if we can hear what it does for the AC unit I'll do the fan first All right, and that was just that's just with the fan and it didn't uh, the generator didn't turn up at all it didn't it didn't uh, the idle didn't go up at all now well, let me yeah it didn't move at all it stayed right there at regular idle and let's go straight to low cool And as far as I can tell, it did not even go up at all in for low cool. Let's turn it back off. Nope, it didn't really make any difference whatsoever. Now let's do high cool. I'm sure that'll that'll turn it up a little bit. And that didn't really kick up too much either. That's really surprising. This AC must not use a lot of uh, a lot of juice. Uh, let me uh, see. I'll turn it off. See if it goes down at all. Barely. It barely even went up at all. So uh, there you have it, guys. Um, It'll run the fan and low cool without even uh, without even turning the idle, without the idle even uh, cranking up a little bit. Um, high cool, it barely went up. In fact, I think it went up the most with the microwave. And let's try that again. Yeah, see, that's really the only time I. I heard it turn up a little bit and it and it's not really going up much let's see with the microwave on and I'm gonna turn on the fan let's see what that does all right just turn the fan on and it is it is powering them both it's powering the fan unit and the microwave at the same time without uh, spooling up any, uh, without the idle going up anymore. Now, let me try that again with the microwave, and I'm gonna go to low cool. Let's see what it does. It seems like it might be having a little bit of a hard time with that. The engine idle isn't coming up very much, but... Oh, you know what? No, it is running it just fine. I'm sorry, I just thought that the fan would be blowing higher, but it is on low, so... It's still powering that. Let's try high cool. I don't know guys, it's powering both. Both the, the high cool is on and the air and the microwave is both on. And it's powering them both. Now that's not something that I would that's not something that I would normally do at all. I just the the generator just can't take that kind of kind of I just wanted to do a test so obviously I wouldn't run it like that all the time I would obviously use just one or the other the microwave or the air conditioner um, I certainly uh, I certainly would not run them both um, yeah so uh, that's and it's uh it's still going on out there let's uh, let's uh, go out there and um, down all right 
turn the smart throttle back on. Just have it come down a little bit. And I'll turn it off. And uh, there you have it, guys. Um, that was the uh, 2000 watt Sign Power Pro by Smarter Tools, uh, 2000 watt inverter, 1600 watts running. Again, I don't, I wouldn't uh, run either. Um, I'm sorry, I wouldn't run both the air conditioner and the uh, uh, microwave at all on this inverter. Um, put it somehow, ran it. Um, I just wouldn't do that. Um, it was just uh, mainly for testing purposes, but. Uh, yeah, and uh, these things are becoming really popular. Um, people don't want to run big uh, RV generators that are really loud. And and uh, I actually installed a regular, kind of like a Home Depot. Um, uh, it was a 3,500 watt um, Home Depot generator. And I actually cut the top off, modified it, and installed it. From this day here, it was, uh, it was very small power it put out it was also a smarter tools generator and uh, um, I, it probably would have worked I just think that it's too hot in the bay I was gonna install a fan to, to pull air through and push air out and all that but um, just didn't get into it I thought that turning that into a battery bank and then getting you know this thing was just a, a, a way better idea uh, that way I can just house this thing it's very small it's very light I could just house this thing. I'm going to install a, uh, on the back of the van, I'm going to install a, uh, a uh, storage um, compartment. Uh, basically, on the, I guess on the hitch, um, it's like a cargo rack, I guess. And it will have a, uh, it'll have an enclosed space back there. Um, kind of like a, 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 a big, a big huge toolbox like you would put in a truck bed. It'll be something like that, that I, way I could actually put the inverter in there and the gas in there and, and additional storage um, so that, uh, uh, you know, I don't have to bring the generator inside or the gas inside the RV. So um, that is it, guys. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, uh, go ahead and leave me uh, that right in the comments section, and I will definitely address them as uh, they come in. All right, take care, guys.